Hello Capricorn, Mary Ann from Revealing Like Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. Wow, okay, so we're in April already, or we're here, we are in April. Uh, in fact, it is the 1st of April here in Australia today. Uh, and I want to look at what's coming up for you during during the month. When I opened up for this reading, I got some clairvoyant images which may resonate with some. Um, this is a general reading, uh, so if it is resonating, please do claim it. If it isn't, move on, come back to it. In a way, these readings are timeless. You could be listening to this in another six months and there may be something there for you. This is for your sun sign. If your sun is in Capricorn, your uh, if your ascendant or rising rising is in sign is Capricorn, or if your moon is in Capricorn, this might this might be a reading that you can get something out of. So when I opened up for this reading, um, I very much got that April. It would be wise to be flexible in April. Uh, Capricorn. You know, often go, you're a cardinal sign, you often go at things like a, you know, a bull at a gate. Um, and of course, the gate's not opening uh, and you just keep, uh, you keep hammering it. Well, this month you might get further and your progress might be greater if you are more flexible and adaptable. Um, so if there's a situation that arises for you in April, remember, flexibility will be the key. I also feel that um, for some Capricornians, they're going to really want in parts of the world where, um, you know, we're moving into um, into spring, into um, into spring and summer, the seasons where, you know, you want to get your earth firmly planted on the, your feet firmly planted on the earth. I feel some of you will be doing that. Uh, it will be an instinctive thing to get away from the hustle and bustle of the cities and move back into nature in some way. It's really going to do you a lot of good. For Yet for others, I'm seeing emotional, romantic type of vibes where you might unexpectedly get roses because I'm seeing a huge big bunch of flowers coming through to you. This could be from an existing partner or for those that are uh, single, unattached, you might meet somebody that takes your breath away. Or um, if you're in that existing relationship, it, you know, your partner might just look at you uh, in a different way and surprise you. And bring forward because I'm just getting literally baskets and baskets full of roses and things blooming. So something is blooming for Capricorns in April. Okay, let's. I'm using my Revealing Light Oracle. That's my own deck, and to as the overarching energy, or to look into the overarching energy, and then we'll drill down with the Gilded Tarot Roy Owl, which is one of Cairo Marchetti's decks. So. Let's see, what are the overarching energies for Capricorn? What are the overarching energies for Capricorn? What are the overarching energies for Capricorn? Okay, collective consciousness. Collective consciousness, awareness. We are more connected than what we think. And this is a Neptunian energy. So um, I was seeing a huge high waterfall, sort of like Niagara Falls. And I'm thinking, what is that to do with? It is um, around uh, the emotions and connecting with others via emotions. It's not something that you will show very often. But it is something that is extremely powerful in you. And when you do show it, and Capricorn does connect emotionally, not that you're cold or anything, I'm not saying that, but when you let the waters flow, the emotions flow, when you're flexible, you tap right in to that collective consciousness. The collective consciousness, Capricorn, very much about the conscious mind. But this is being able to link with that collective 
consciousness. And you're very powerful when you do that. There's a reason why, you know, you're a cardinal sign. You're out in front. You're leading. You're able to, to do that. So this month, be flexible and particularly be flexible with your emotions because it will bring you that step closer to your goals. So we have here adapting and finding your way. This is a Virgo energy. Adapting. Adaptability. Flexibility. Find your way. Don't butt up against like that bull at a gate. Be adaptable and let water flows. Water will flow where it needs to go. And it does that by being prepared to take many pathways, being adaptable to what is needed at the time. There's something here around really uh, using that flexibility to your own advantage. Communication, we are more than we think, observe your thoughts because they will often precede your actions and Mercury energy. So we have Neptune, we have Virgo, we have Mercury here on the table. Uh, you know, for some you could be speaking, speaking even um, public speaking, speaking in crowds, addressing people, um, finding like-minded people because really this spells community to me. This spells being involved in the community. When you're tapping into that collective consciousness, you're getting out of your own way in many, in many respects. You're a very powerful communicator, Capricorn. And you're able to lead. So it wouldn't surprise me if you are involved in groups in April and you are you do take on a front of house type of role. We've got love is always hopeful, infinite, divine and worth the climb. Venus, Cancerian energy. This is the flowers. This is the romance. This is something being in bloom in April, Capricorn. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the cards the through the Gilded Tarot. And drill down a bit uh, on the general overarching conditions, issues, circumstances, opportunities, challenges, aspects that you're likely to confront in April 2021. So what's coming up? What's coming up for Capricorn in April 2021 yeah there's definitely a will and a way to get back to uh to nature feet on the earth it's going to be very good for some capricornians show me what's coming up for capricorn in april so we have the empress mm, absolutely uh this card is about uh, i mean this is the earth mother the earth goddess here. Look at all these animals. Um, you know, in a way, this is what's calling to you. She's holding Venus uh, and she's um, she's backlit, if you like, by the zodiac. Um, this is about abundance, na nature's abundance. This is about a season of time and some something coming into harvest. And I, I think, you know, this is, as I said, the earth mother. It's like... It's like whoever's giving you roses in April is acknowledging, acknowledging your position as this earth mother. For those uh, males that are watching this reading, this talks about a project coming to fruition. And equally, the messages that I give here apply to both masculine and feminine. There really are no, there's no gender here in these readings. It's simply energies. So this talks about good aspects to bring forward a project now that will yield results within a season of time. Let's see what the challenge is to that. Okay, the five of wands. You know, this can be obstacles and challenges, but can also be, and I'm getting the draw here to family issues. For some... 
family, children, infighting could be a challenge in April. It could be two siblings aren't getting on. It could be a sibling and a father, a sibling and a mother isn't, a, a child and a mother, child and a father isn't getting on. This is quite forceful energy. Now, we're coming into Aries season, so, you know, this can also bring forward like an aggressive type of energy. You can deal with it. You're absolutely strong enough to deal with it. The counsel here is not to get too involved, not to get too involved in anything that doesn't directly concern you. Let them work it out themselves. The King of Wands leadership, yeah, is that the foundation of the reading? So there's a reason why when you look at the business leaders or the heads of um, corporations or companies or those in business or, you know, there's a reason why Capricorn, you can often find Capricorns in those positions. There's something you're going to be called upon and I just keep getting this public speaking. There's some being recognized for, for your abilities to motivate, to motivate and inspire. There's leadership here I see for you in April. Now, in the past, we've had something miraculous. That can be linked with this Empress energy, that there is some kind of abundance that you've experienced in the past or some... You know, people call it luck. People call it a lucky breakthrough or a fortunate series of events. There's something in the past recently that you've experienced which has appeared to you like, um, yeah, like a miracle, like wish fulfillment. You've got what you want. You're sort of, in a way, Shangri-La happened for you in the past. Um, and... Yeah, you, you could well be in a lead, leadership position now. So we have happiness. We have the sun card here, the strength, Aries, Mars, energy, the strength of this, uh, of this fire energy. It's like you're going to harness it. Um, it's like you're going to throw a lasso up and harness this, this energy. I think that's true of all the signs. That is in the potential. That's what's crowning this reading. So you've got already two major arcana here showing up. Two very fortunate cards, the Empress and the Sun. In the immediate future, we've got the Six of Cups. Yeah, this can sometimes be love renewed in relationships. But this is also, you know, coming into this spring, summer kind of energy. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere you need to get outside and take advantage of that because guess what? It really does make you happy. It's like you it, you need that time in, in the sun. And I'm just focusing on that frog there on the shoulder of the young boy. Remember we had adapting and that Virgo energy. It's like a luck. Frogs are considered lucky. Cleansing, they'll often come after rain, after cleansing, you know, when there's been a landscape that has been cleansed and you get this new growth and new life signified by the butterflies. It's an auspicious month for you, I think. The High Priestess. Now, you drew the collective unconscious card, sorry, the collective consciousness. So we have the High Priestess very much... That Neptunian energy there, uh, being able to tap in, tap into, you know, it can be, you know, you wonder why a designer, fashion designer is successful because they've come up with, with something that everybody wants to buy. It's like tapping in to what the, I'll just put the market wants. Um, you're going to be doing a little bit of that contemplation resonate, resonate, resonating Thinking about the future in a way and how you can bring things forward. The Three of Cups, friendships, circles of support. So these also, this could be a group activity that you're thinking about embarking on. 
But I think what it is you're resonating over is absolutely the right thing. Because that's also a celebration card as well. There's a lot of feminine energy in this reading, but we also have the sun, your energy as well, a masculine energy, a, a, a driving forward energy. Let's see what's in the hopes and fears, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, for some there is trouble, not trouble, but for some there could be some problems with children because I'm getting uh, the, the parent card or the parent vibe here to this reading. The King of Cups. Water is your thing this month. The King of Cups. Cancerian energy. Scorpio, Piscean energy. There's something very, even though you're an earth sign, there's something when you use the emotions, you're, you become, you step into your own inner way. And so being adaptable, and letting that energy of the mature emotions, wise emotions, flow will bring you what you need. There is a project and a plan that is going to get off the ground. This is the Two of Wands clarifying the King of Cups. You're able, you're tapping in or able to tap in to what will be successful in the future. And that's what you're contemplating at the moment. Yeah, for some it will bring new work. For some it can be um, this new job, uh, being chosen for the skills that you have. But I think this is also something of your own that you want to do, that you're thinking about getting off the ground. I think you're, you're actually going to start to take steps there. And I think it's it's auspicious, whatever it is that you're thinking about. There's there's uh, It's like you're right in the flow in April to launch or bring forward this idea or project, bringing it from the subconscious into the conscious. So here's the love, <laughs> the loving relationship. Here are the roses in bloom, the two of cups. It's like there's a rainbow there. So auspicious again, auspicious for relationships. And we've got your energy coming forward, auspicious for business, leadership, two kings now, two kings. And we've got this ace of wands underscoring this project that you want to bring forward or this idea, this something that you're very inspired by is what's going to drive you through April and Whatever the idea is, whatever the project, whatever the initiative, whatever the, you know, it could be a community group, you know, leading a community group. Um, it's actually going to work. It's actually going to work. All right. I'll leave that there, Capricorn. As I said, it's a general reading. It may not, uh, it may not uh, be resonating with you. Not now, but it might, uh, it might in time. If not, move on. If so, claim the reading. Um and I'm hoping that it is helpful for you. So thanks for tuning in, Capricorn. I kind of felt it was all about work and uh, work and business and entrepreneurialship uh, and also a renewal of romance or perhaps even a new romance there. Very much I saw uh, lots of baskets full of roses and that means love. <laughs> all right, then. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again in May. Thank you.